Maravon, Creaxor, and Sestiva, which will be the three commercial products containing Xenium that we will be launching into the market in 2012. And we wanted to just give everybody an opportunity to see what the strengths and advantages of Xenium and its combination products with F500 are. It's completely new. It's in the carboxamide class, which uh, Boscolid or our commercial product Endura is in the carboxamide class. But Zemium has a much higher intrinsic activity, which means a lower amount of it will give you as good or better results than a higher amount of Boscolid will. We're looking at Maravon being for the specialty crops. This would be the palm fruits like apples and pears and also the stone fruits which would include peaches, plums and cherries and then Preaxor will be for the row crops and that would include the cereals like wheat and oats, barley, also corn, uh, soybeans, the oilseed crops like canola and sunflowers, the fruiting vegetables like tomatoes and peppers, and also potatoes and the tuberous vegetables. We are currently under a multilateral global registration process where we're registering Zemium in North America, South America, Europe, and also Australia all at the same time. So it's a very uh, wide global swath with this particular product. Epoxyconazole, which is an important triazole in Europe and in South America. Now it's not used here in the United States, but it's important in Europe and South America that Xenium work well with epoxyconazole. Here in the U.S. we're looking at F500 or the headline molecule, so it's been tailored for Xenium to be mixed with F500 or the headline type product. The field research is ongoing and we're also looking at other crops and possible second submissions where we would uh, add crops in the future after the first registration.